Are you ready, chat, for the end of, potentially the end of Ridge Racer 6? We only have 2.2% of the game left to do. It involves this top right corner here. Um, and these races are going to be fucking hard. I don't know if this is going to take me like an hour and we're going to breeze through this, or if this is going to take me all night and it's going to be a struggle. Only one way to find out. Let us go to the final route of Ridge Racer 6. And our tip about the final route. I never would have thought that this route would be unlocked. I knew you were good, but to be honest, I didn't think you'd make it this far. How dare you. I guess I was wrong. You've beaten countless rivals in some of the toughest races I've ever witnessed. This is the final chapter in the Ridge universe. I don't think you need me to tell you that it is also the most difficult route ever conceived. The race type is quad battle. Three special machines, all tuned to an insane level, will hound you from start to finish. Only by using every ounce of strength, knowledge, and luck will you emerge victorious. I wish you the best of luck. See you at the finish line. Well, that was, that was some nice, uh... That wasn't a tip, that was just introduction. Let's go. Alright, yeah, probably Reiko. Thanks, Reiko. So, uh, yeah, we got five races here, and um, while I can just kind of go race to race, I'm going to do pick each one individually. Because... Failing to roast me. They weren't trying to roast me. Uh... I want to see if I can, like, use different cars for this, so... So just using the same cars. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But our first race is at Island Circle, which... scares me. Because <laughs> this track's difficult, but... Let's, uh... Let's see. What do I want to drive? Oh, by the way... Well, I'll take a look at this later, but I did, uh... Right before the stream, I installed all the, uh, the DLC cars. Which are just liveries. They were all free, so fuck it, why not? Anyways, um... Well, definitely not using the base cruiser Pac-Man or Monstrous, because I suck at all those cars. Let's start with something I know I can drive fairly decently, and that's the Ultra Nova. So... In the Aj Ultra Nova. And uh, let's go for this. Get ready to race. Hey, we got ourselves a heated race at Island Circle. Are you ready? Come on, let's get it on. All right. <clears throat> let's do this. Three, two, one. I had to adjust my uh, speaker volume. Oh, yeah. Going against the, the Angelus, the Cornell, and the Monstrous. So we're going against all three of the big boys. That's a pink Monstrous. I'm kind of about it. Woohoo! I'm just going to kind of hope that my uh, tactic I've been doing for the past, like, 40 races works here. In the form of uh, hang hang out for the first part of the race, and then maybe triple my nitrous my way to victory. Although the lads are kind of pulling away. This thing also doesn't build up nitrous very quickly outside of ultimate charge. Opus. Oh god! I hope it's. None of these races are like any of the Opus races from uh, PSP. That shit was genuine bullshit. Ah. Ultimate charge. <laughs> like that's the only way I'm gonna build up enough nitrous in this damn car. Okay, this is the 
Aw, oh, I fucked it. I unfucked it. Oh, ooh, I'm fucking it. This is a warm up race, so I don't expect to win on this first try. Oh, especially after that. Alright, now I just gotta find a way to pass all three of them. Simultaneously. Alright, yeah, that strat didn't work. Okay. We'll have to, uh... We'll have to hang out a little, uh, a little closer. Looks like. So, uh, there's our first attempt. Let's let's just keep grinding until I win this. They're so hard to pass. So hard to pass. You're correct, Tank. You know, as difficult as the Cornell is to drive in this game, it's a lot easier to drive than the Cornell in 5. Soldat did what Revelta could not. Or at least... Soldat made the Revelta people make the... I don't fucking know. Anyways, something about lore. Hi, Satan. Yeah, they actually had a budget this time. Oh, I fucked up. I was gonna straighten up to set up that corner, and I did that way too late. So that's French. I don't fucking know. Actually, no, Soldat is absolutely Italian, considering how very Ferrari their uh, gauge clusters are on some of the cars in this game. We're catching back up. That's what I tried to do last lap. Oh, so fucking big. Oh, you know what? That works. The boost. The assist. I think that was a Cornell assist. Let's go, baby! Alright, one down. That was absolutely an assisted victory. Holy shit. <laughs> Shout out Satan. Woo! Alright, that was wild. God damn. 224 mile per hour average speed in that last lap. Okay. So. Oh. Oh god, it's going through all the uh, achievements again. Alright, oh, we're good. That one only took about 15 minutes. It's not bad. Not bad at all. So, we've cleared the first one. First final race. 98.1%. Now, on to race two. Island Cliffs. Oh god. Alright. Thought it'd be interesting. Um, let's see. Highland Cliffs. So that's going to be a pretty narrow track. I'm using the 490 for this. 
You know what? I'm going to use the DLC livery for this, which is numbered 911. Porsche. Yeah. All right, here we go. <laughs> Look out below. We got ourselves a heated race at Highland Cliffs. Moo. Ready? Come on, let's get it on. Oh, this is the long version with the tail and the... Yeah, okay. Although we're doing the tail section early in the lap. Move over. Okay, let's go. Oh, that's right. This is a seven speed. So first things first is I have to remember how this thing builds nitrous. Because it's not like the Ultra Nova where I have to ultimate charge to uh, efficiently get nitrous. Oh, they're trying to pull away from me. Hang on. I am not going to Gapplebee's, lads. That ain't happening. That's what I was saying. Looking, uh, Andor Genesis, I think, is the sponsor for this livery. With that Umbrella Core, uh, logo. Chick-fil-A, yeah, I, 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 uh, I advocate for human rights. Boy, I sure was looking at the chat. That's the fun thing about this car, it's incomprehensible. It's just some wacky little thing. It's a goofy little guy. I'm glad I can just kind of drift the car anywhere I want and get an ultimate charge, even in the middle of a straightaway. Game don't game don't care where you're drifting as long as you are drifting and carrying higher than your car's normal max speed. There is no Reaper command. For there, for this, uh, a Reaper command to be triggered, there has to be a Reaper command that exists. Oh man, Satan has kind of pulled away a little bit here. Oh, yep, I'm paying attention. God damn it, Caro. The whole joke was that there was no command, and now you made a command and therefore ruined the joke. Oh, never mind, you deleted it immediately. Alright, cool, never mind. I guess what? I'm not winning this attempt. I drove like absolute garbage here. I don't deserve to win. That was awful. Replay! Caro, please. Cease this. Alright, well, uh, here, here we go. For the second race. The race is about to Try to not suck. The car is perfect. The course is perfect. And I feel perfect. Let's make it a perfect race. Three, two, one, go! Yeah, no command. Oh, yeah. Anyways, back to the car. Nitrous on standby. 
Dr. Hell. <laughs> Be in the center part. We're off track. I get. I guess this is a, a, a radio control vehicle or some shit. I don't know. This thing's an anomaly, and I like it because it's an anomaly. <laughs> it is very goofy, ah. It's just a surskit. It's just a, it's just a little guy. Oh, oh. That plan didn't work. Oh, I hit the inside wall. Close to 80. To 100% that game. Never doing that again. Dude, we're living in the year 2023 and Himmel's... Yeah, Himmel made this. Himmel's living in the year 3023. Oh, I see. Monster Dong is out. My ass, bro. Stop. Alright, Monsters Blue Triple, my turn. Oh, I should have drifted. Fuck. Should have just got an ulti there. Oh, well, it's fine. I can still salvage this, maybe. Go. Go. I hear him. Old block, old block, old block. Oh, baby. Okay. Woo! Is that my second or third try? I don't even remember. I think that was my second try. Holy shit. Okay. Once again, that was, that was some unintentional blocking. But it, it it worked out in the end. Holy shit! All right, there's our second race. Winning's winning. I fucked up that hairpin at the end. Too much angle went wide. I had the nitrous to just not lose too much speed. All right, ninety-eight point four percent. So on to race three. And this one is the Rave City Riverfront. Oh boy. So Rave City. This is where I can use something larger and in charger. We're going to use the Terrigen for this one. I think so. I think, I think we'll use this. The race will be held here at Rocket Rave Man City Riverfront. Looks like your rivals are ready to go. Let's oh shit, that's right. This, this track has the funny jump. Three, two, one, go! I remember the launch of this thing. Okay, let's go. Alright, I might have an advantage here just in the funny jump alone. Unless the AI are 
smart enough to also use that to their advantage, but I doubt it. God, this thing's drift is so mild. I'm saving my nitrous for the jump. I want to. Oh my god. Take the jump. I know I'm going to. They definitely are not trying to take the jump. Then again, they're not also not nitrousing. Okay. I think I primarily gained time there just from using nitrous. Fast foot. Tank confirmed in defeat. Oh my god, I'm shitting my ass right now. I'm kind of struggling with this car. in terms of ultimate charge. Oh, this thing initiates way better off throttle. I think just with the way I was driving it. I think I'm starting to understand mild drift a little more now. We're at the very end of the game. I've been trailing all race. I don't, I don't like my chances here. Oh, that was way too soon. Whatever, it worked. I lose so much speed here. Really hoping I could get a triple built up for the uh, the jump this time, but that ain't happening. Turns out there's like a 120%. Okay, well, not a very good first attempt. We'll uh, we'll keep going with the Terragene. The Cornell was in front of the monstrous. Let's get it on. Honestly, if I wasn't like goofing around there, kind of drifting the shit out of the car, I might have been able to have the momentum to pass the Cornell across the line. But instead, I was goofing. The race will How do I press here. buttons? Alright, anyways. Looks like your rivals are ready to go. Let's get this thing moving. Last touch on the devil, yeah. Oh well. We'll just do it again. It's consistent with every single video game that the menus are the most difficult for part of the games for me. I don't know why I just cannot navigate menus without fucking it up and pressing the wrong button 17 times in a row, but it's true for every single video game. Oh, 
I mean, all these races, the last sector is make or break. It's just kind of the nature of this shit. How fucky the... Well, not fucky, but how quick the AI are. How, like... And how, like, reactionary they are. Whoa! Nosedive. I see. charge. Tiny sliver of it. Coming in hot! During the uh, the free weekend. Hold on. Tommy coming in them. I'm not answering that because it would make me sound like a creepy incel. Which I'm absolutely an incel, but I try to avoid the creepy part. No personality and no social skills. I am but a rizless human. And the campaign of the run is very short, it's only like a couple hours long. Yeah, more of a Ritz guy, honestly. Superior crackers. I will, uh... I need to play the run again and get that a fair shot. Ooh, oh, done the wall. Didn't hit the wall. Yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. I win. Did it. First place. It Did it. Time for the replay. See, I told you that was going to work. I just had to stop fucking it up. <laughs> Hell yeah. Alright, three down, two to go. So, I race it complete. 98.7%. Let's move on to race number four. Seacrest District. Is this okay? Fuck, I can't, I know, like, I know the location of this, but I can't remember which layout this is. Um... Stop having major skill issues in. Okay, I'll just become perfect in every way. Got it, Chief. I will not I will no longer be bound by human limitations and inconsistencies. Fuck ton of races. That's about I think what does it say on the ten? Two hundred over two hundred races says on the box. Anyways, we're driving the, the goo. Oh yeah, we got ourselves a heated race at Seacrest District. You ready? Let's get it on. Goo. Mm -hmm. 
that's our second. Oh, it is the tight one. All right. Wow, what a start. This is what I wanted to see. Just a little bit The goo might not have been the best choice for this. I feel like I need to uh, restate this. I know it's G double zero. Goo is way funnier, though. Therefore, it is the goo. my bearings with this car and this track they did literally it's because this is like the only version of this car in existence and it's a Ganade since the G it's the most elusive car because it's a one of one I forget why they made this and only one of them, but it, yeah. That's. Monaco's a taxes. Monaco's a tax haven. They don't pay taxes. Why so many rich people have, uh. own housing in Monaco? For legal tax evasion. No. They decided with G double zero instead of O one. To really emphasize. No one can have this. It's the only one and no one can have it. We are fucking it, kids. Alright. I wasn't gonna win anyways, but so that was my kind of like just uh oh, yeah. sight run. Race is about to start. Now Got let's get aggressive. Let's get oh. oh what the f okay. No. All right, I'm just gonna right. go ahead and restart because that was stupid. A heated race at Seacrest District. Are you ready? Let's get it on. Unless it does not have a game list. I would list the games, but that command would be way too fucking long. And I don't like overly verbose commands that completely eat up the entire chat. Spreadsheet for my shit. Now I want to make another one. I do know European Truck Racing Championship. I have the game. I've played the game. Not all the way through, but it's it's uh it's, it's yeah. I'm just doing some uh, keep up with the pack nitrous right now. I am at actually a, at a speed disadvantage because they have a higher top speed than me. Final lap. By like 10 miles per hour. Your nitrous is full. Ooh, sweet nitrous. <laughs> yeah, you're cruising on all to the charge. Triple 
as soon as possible. Didn't work. I was hoping for more ultimate charge than that. Oh, we still might get it. Oh, we got it. Alright, cool. Let's go, Goo Baby. How the fuck? Alright. Woo. Is it better than Super Trucks? I don't know. I remember the game being super freaking easy. Uh, of what I, from what I played of it. Like, extremely easy. Good race, goddamn tank. Four down, one to go. Sub 40 second lap, that's... that's wild. Boo. <laughs> Anyways. Four down, one to go. 99%. So time for the final 1% of the game which makes up of this race and the two unlocks. So, final race. Arbor Line 765. Hang on. I want to do a thing here for this last race. Actually, no. I was going to repaint one of the cars. Instead, I'll use one of the DLC liveries. Anyways, Arbor Line 765. I'm gonna. I'm driving the Satan car. I'm gonna drive this DLC Galaga sponsored livery. Look at this thing. Final race. Get ready to race. I can feel this race is gonna be really hot. Now start your engine and get ready. Forgot about the toothy attack on this thing. Yeah, actually, yeah, it does make sense. Number four, because number four is like the number of death in Japan. Or something like that. This is the closest thing to uh, Seaside Route 765 we have here, so very appropriate that it's the final race. The location of the final race. The venue, track, whatever. Oh, that's a wall. And this is not something to be like, oh, hey, I'm going to post this in chat in a random Twitch chat. Oh, hey. Let's go. I don't know. Then why do you be like, oh, my God, guns? I'm trying, I'm trying to, like, ignore this because it's just... Just unnecessary derailing shit. This is why we don't jump to conclusions, especially the worst. Possible conclusion immediately. Ever. Under any circumstance. Stop that. Alright, well, that was a uh, first attempt. Uh, that, that certainly was a first attempt. Let's do it again.
bodies will be held here at I'm about to turn off my other monitor just so I don't get Looks distracted. Like your are ready to go. Let's get this thing moving. Chat never disappeared. Thanks for distracting me. Be like, uh oh, shit's broken. Oh wait, no, it isn't. Okay, let's go. I'm going dark. The darkness. Kingdom Hearts. Mitris. Build up that ultimate charge. charge. This was the strategy variation using triple at the end. Oh, we got another. Oh, I think I got it. Got it. Yes. Finally. Fuck. Damn. Fucking right I am. Oh, he got him cut. Damn it. They cut him off. What the fuck? Very healthy ultimate charge, yeah. Did it. Holy shit. Big dub. B big dub. I can see it now. See you, Bach. Can't believe the game told my mans to shut up. How dare they? Oof. Hey, don't try to undermine my victory, Ace. Or devalue it. I win. Yeah, but it was easier because... Shut up. Hey, new achievement. 80 gamer score, goddamn. Exploration complete. X. Achieve final battle. Hell yeah. We did it. What cost? No cost. All right. You've won a prize. You got a new car. Oh, we got another monstrous. Reach the goal for the final route. Final route has been explored. Has been oh. As a player of extraordinary skill who has completed the final route without Nitra support, it is with great honor that I present you with the Laurel Crown. You really opened my eyes. It was an amazing race. Thanks, Reiko. Appreciate it. Oh, it's an online thing. Boo. During online races, Laurel Crown will be added to your gamer tag. To display all your superior driving skills, you're now able to host special Laurel Crown holder only races. Once again, congratulations. Oh, I see. Hi. Oh, you're done? Bye. All right. Thanks, dickhead. That was cool. <laughs> that was sick. 
Congratulations, the Ridge universe has now been fully explored and is yours for the taking. There it is, confirmation. 2,500 miles driven. 100% explored. Hell yeah. Oh, time not time's not up yet because I'm not done actually done playing the video game. Anyways, here's our new monstrous. Some cool pin. Oh, it's the pink one. Yo, it's got some cool ass pinstripes on it. Hell fucking yes. There's our laurel crown. And there we go. World Explorer complete. We did it. But uh, just to put uh, a final, final uh, stamp on this, I do want to take a look at one of the extra things that we've unlocked we haven't done yet. Where do I want to do this at? Sure, fuck it, Aviator Loop. We're gonna do a single race around Aviator Loop. Gonna press the Y button to make it the mirror version. I just wanna do a mirror race. Um, we do special class? Yeah, we'll do special class. Our monstrous, shrouded in mystery. Oh, yeah. <laughs> by the way, the DLC livery for the monstrous, uh, taxi. Crazy taxi. Anyways, I'm also gonna press Y here to unlock uh, infinite nitrous or whatever it was called. I just, I just want to see what. Just want to do one race like this. I want to see how fast we can get. All right, oh, we got ourselves a heated race at Aviator Loop. Are you ready? With said, just infinite nitrous. So I think it'd be funny. Three, two, one, oh, yep, I'm forgetting how to shift. Oh, it'd be even funnier because I can't fucking see. Oh! Wow, I'm so stupid. I <laughs> immediately forgot the track was mirrored. Oh my god, my muscle memory is actually, like, fucking me over here. I can't get the track too fucking bad. Do you like seeing things? No, you don't. Alright, starting to get my bearings a little bit here. Maybe. Someone order some triple nitrous. Triple nitrous forever. <laughs> Fucking walls. Put those walls there. Yeah, I love how, like, this thing just... morphs when you use the triple nitrous. By the way, if you can't see what the fuck's going on, neither can I. That's not what I want. Oh my god. Alright, we're doing this again because I'm fucking this up in every way imaginable. Alright, I, I got... That, that was terrible. I gotta do better than that. I gotta do better than that. That was only t that wasn't even my fastest lap around here at two thirty five. Unless fast lap is turned off, it might actually it might be turned off. With the uh, yeah, it definitely is. All right. Okay. Let's uh let's let's drive a car that I can actually like see what I'm doing. Um, I want to drive Pac-Man. Here's the DLC livery for Pac-Man, by the way. Pac 
Oh, wait. Almost forgot to activate, uh... Infinite Nitrous. Oh, absolutely, Carl. Bumper Cam Monstrous is... Objectively is the... An advantage. Let's get it on. Namuko Pakamon. Pack is the card. No, he's just in it. Three, two, one, go! I forgot this is a uh, one speed. It has one gear. That gear is fast. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me, pardon me. Excuse me, pardon me. Let it rip. Almost fucked it. Did fuck it. Twenty-six point nine, nice. It's a nice lap. Come on. Great move to gift sub. There we go. That's that's what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Just a full lap of just... <laughs> Look at this thing go. Speed! At least I got to win something in the Pac-Man car. That's cool. Oh, hang on. Can I get a... Damn, I was hoping I could get like a top-down shot. Of it spinning like that, because that's wild looking. <laughs> yes! Alright, I did what I wanted to accomplish. An average lap speed of 250 miles per hour plus. 252.20 average speed throughout the lap. Not top speed, average speed. And 235 average for the whole race. <laughs> That's wacky. All right. Screw you, DeFerrin. Anyway, that's all I wanted to do. So, uh, I guess just for the sake of completion, we'll take a look at our garage. I'm going to save. I'm going to manual save here. But uh, let's take a look at, at our garage. First our stats, I guess. So in-game 24 hours, but that's also adding like time idling in the menus, like pre and post stream and shit. Um, just over 4,000 kilometers driven, 100%. And then the rest of the stats don't matter because they're online stats. So we have 28 class one cars, 31 class two cars, 27 class three cars, 34 or 31 in class 4 and 29 special vehicles. I think that counts all the DLC cuz uh yeah. The only cars we don't have unlocked are unlocked via online uh progress and I'm not paying for Xbox online just to unlock these cars. Fuck that. So <laughs> Well, we are what we are going to do here is we're going to take a look at the DLC liveries for these uh cars cuz why not? I installed them. They're free. Why as well look at them. So, uh, here's this. The Baraduke Fiera. This actually looks sick. I like this. The New Calm Abel. Calm Ink. Gold isn't really more. Can't hurt you. <laughs> here's the, uh, Prophety. 
That blue kind of doesn't mix well with the orange and the gray, but hey, we'll take it. Wow, gang. Eleek. That looks very just Pac- It, it looks like a, a, a Pac-Man car. I don't know really uh, how else to explain it. There's the bayonet. Oh, this star nose looks sick, actually. Ah, oh, that's where I've seen that name before. Like, I know that's a reference. That's got to be a reference to something. Soul Calibur. Anyways, those are the Class 1 DLCs. Here's the Class 2 DLCs. With a Xevious uh, Fatalita. Savalu Bazanti. Polka. This looks cool. I like this. Oh, Pac Man EO. Giant Pac Man on the across the top of the car. That's the design. Final Lap Esperanza. These liveries are kind of sick, especially when they incorporate the decals in the livery. That's very nice. Nineko Raggio. Anime! It's an Itasha, an official Ridge Racer Itasha. Real, not clickbait. <laughs> Truck. Neat. On to class three. Hyper Knight Fiera. Interesting color combination. Ooh, this bell looks sick. A Klonoa property. Shout out Klonoa. Dragon Saber Wild. This is my car. I claim this car is my own. This is mine. This belongs to me. Look at all the freaking decals. Hold up. Look at all the decals on the roof. That is an absurd amount of decals on the roof. God damn. Anyways, here's a shoot-away bayonet. A very interesting design. And star nose. Dragon Spirit. Sounds like the name of a real race team. Dragon Spirit. Anyways, Class 4 DLC. Night Raven Fatalita. All oh, these purples. I dig this. I like this. Bizanti. Yeah, we can... Well, I guess watch these for the first time since they're DLC. Like... Oh, yeah, that's what the button does. And be like, haha.
automobile jump scare. Anyways, that's cool. Oh fuck, alright. This is hot. Number one. Implied victor. Win winner, winner man. Team... Well, I say Team Dragon Spirit, it's actually the sponsor, but still. Nebulous Ray, or no, a Zhao Yu EO. Bet that's the name of a character in another Namco IP. I like that. Mitsurugi Esperanza. Tight. Hey yo, Mappy Raggio. It's literally the the Mappy livery from R four. That's hot. Second character. I was right. R. <laughs> Micro Mouse Mappy. Okay, I was wondering what that logo was on the roof. It's Arc Bird. Let's go. <laughs> Sophie's back. Mrs. Chevalier. That's cool. Fire. From the front and the back. I like the reverse flames on the back. America. Hell yeah. And then finally we have the... Uh, the uh, special car DLC liveries. Start with the Angelus, Mitsurugi. Kind of a, uh... The fuck would you call this? Like a creamy gold color, almost? Has some sort of, like, wing design. As well on it. Interesting. Anyways, here's the Cornell. We've... I just spent the last... Like 45 minutes driving this, so. Andor Genesis Ultra Nova. Interesting. The uh, Pac Man Tatagine. Oh, that Pac Man on the roof is a little, little, uh. Oh, it's pixely, okay. Like, high pixelation. I was wondering what the hell was going on where it was zigzags, it's pixels. That's cool. Newcom Pronzion. Hover car. That gradient, though, kind of cool. And or Genesis 490B also drove this. Yeah, Za God Zazala Mail G double zero. Pretty cool. The big boy. Yo, can we talk about this stylized Danver logo? That's also the very much graffiti triple nine number. That's funny. Kinda hot. Biggie Thickums, yeah. Yeah, and I kind of wish they changed the uh, the LED cover in the interior to match the uh, exterior on this thing. Oh well. And then there's the Pac-Man. Which you go speed. And finally, Crazy Taxi. 
Wanna know what you wanna know what it looks like when you really need to get there on time? Boosh. Oh, I didn't even know. How about up? I didn't even know this blower pops up when you use the triple nitrous. And like the hood lowers. Okay, we need to talk about the engineering of this thing. Okay, don't do shit on a single nitrous. Okay, so the hood lowers on double or triple. We get the extra, we get the thrusters. Then I triple the blower exits. The body just <laughs> peels apart. What an interesting piece of machinery. Fascinating. Oh, that's what that is. I'm like, what are these body panels over on like the inside but on the sides? It's the it's literally the trunk. So interesting. Anyways, that's all the uh, the DLC car liveries again. Everything that's still locked is locked behind online progress, and I couldn't care less about that. It is annoying that they are locked behind online progress. I don't give a fuck. But, um... I think that's it. Because, again, World Explorer done. Just take one more look at the map here. Look where we started. All the races we did. And up here at the end. Which these final five races only took about two hours, which is a bit surprising. Well, a bit, but also not. So, yeah. That was, uh... Turn this up a little bit. So, for the YouTube audience, this is where I, uh, gonna transition. Yeah, yeah I changed the crapping on this. What happens when you don't have your consistently? Anyways, that was Ridge Racer 6. This was a fun time. Was the Pac-Man option? You literally play Pac-Man. Like, there's just a play the arcade Pac-Man in the game. But, um... Yeah. Ridge Racer 6 is done. Fun time. Um... Again, the first, like, 10-ish hours was a bit mundane just because of how a lot of the, most of the tracks in this game were definitely designed around the faster cars, so the slower cars didn't, didn't feel very engaging. Some of the, a lot of the races with the slower cars, especially with the easy AI. But, uh, chroma key, yeah. Wow, it's like the case is green or something. Um, but I had a good time. Once, once we got into the more, more, uh, faster and intense races, this got really good. And uh, that final challenge was actually really rewarding, and I liked it. It was, it was again, it was fair. High difficulty challenge, I liked. Uh, this still doesn't hold a candle to five, though. Five is still my favorite Ridge Racer, and I fucking love it. But in terms of the two uh, modern slash nitrous era Ridge Racers I've played so far on stream, this is definitely way better than PSP. Um, but uh, I'm not putting a number on this. I'm just saying. Game good. I had a good time. If you live in North America and have an Xbox One or Series S or Series X, this is still available for $10 digitally. 
or if you have a physical copy, it's backwards, fully backwards compatible. I played this whole thing on my Xbox Series X, so... Um, if you want, if... I, I mean, I recommend this. Even if you played Ridge Racer 7, I still recommend giving this a shot. Uh, yeah, the DLC is still available. All Again, all the DLC liveries are free. Um, the only other DLC is in-game music, and they're like a dollar each, so whatever. But uh, yeah, I think that's about all I got for this one, so... There's only one numbered Ridge Racer to take care of after this, but um, I think we'll take a. Uh, I think we'll take care of something else before we move on to Ridge Racer Seven. So I'll be on the lookout for that. But uh, for those of you watching this on YouTube, uh, this is where I leave you. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, stay tuned for my let's next let's play. Easy for me to say.